Hello, Magic Community on YouTube. I'm T1 Glistener Elf, and this is my baby. This is Cool Roy. This is Evangeline. This is my uh, my T1 Stone Forge Mystic. Lovely little one. And she's going to help me do another deck tech really quickly, aren't you? You're going to help me with a deck tech? That's really nice of you. As I get everything set up. Uh, this one is the world's most serious deck tech. No, this is actually an unset uh, deck tech. I made a mono green un deck. Uh, and it's just obviously for fun. This is just something silly to do with the baby who is enjoying her sunglasses. She hasn't taken them off yet, so I'm assuming so. What are you looking at? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, now you're keeping them on. <gasps> yeah. There we go. <laughs> just being too cool. She's taking off the glasses. You are just the coolest little kid, aren't you? So we're going to start off with the land base. Forest. Nothing but forest. Let's see, we have, looking through the list here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times 4, 36. So there are 24 lands in the deck. And well, what do you know? Now, the, the important part about the lands, the forest, they're all forest, you want each to be of a different set in Magic. And that's because we run four copies of hey dear, symbol status. Four copies of hey dear. Uh, symbol status is a sorcery that lets you put in one 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 for each different expansion symbol that you have amongst permanents that you control. Yes, yeah, you see the computer and you want to play with it. That's, my, that's where my deck tech is though. I wish I had it memorized so I could let her play with it and do whatever. She treats it like a jukebox. Gets to play all kinds of cool little songs on it. Here, let me get your sunglasses back on. So that's one of the win conditions in the deck. One of two. We... I'm bad at this, apparently. You gonna show me how it's done? Show me how it's done. Or don't... Don't, don't get yourself... She's picking her boogers. <laughs> She's gonna be so embarrassed if I keep this in. Should I keep this in? No. No. <laughs> Alright, next we have, as the other win condition, Flock of Rabid Sheep. This is why we want to be doing so much ramping. Uh, yeah, if you... What are you doing? I love you. What are you doing, honey bunny? Honey bunch of votes. <gasps> oh, boy. darling. It puts out uh, a rabid sheep token uh, for each, well actually you have to flip a coin x number of times. X is in the mana cost. Uh, every time it lands on, I think it's heads, then you get a sheep. So lo and behold, this is another win condition, of course. Um, it's fun when it goes off and you actually get it. I have gotten the, uh, I think it was five coin tosses all bad, so that wasn't on camera though, thankfully. Oh boy. See, not all Irish luck is good luck. A lot of it's bad luck, too. As I... What are you doing? Alright, and now for actual ramp. Uh, actually, before I get to the ramp, uh, we do run four copies of Team Spirit, just so that when we swing in with all of our creatures, it makes what may not be, as thre may not be a threatening board, you know, more threatening make it potentially lethal, so on and so forth. You get the idea. You don't have quite enough, well this gives you the reach that you may need. Uh, if you don't have super secret tech, or your playgroup isn't letting you use super secret tech, uh, replace those four copies with four growth spurts, uh, just as another pump spell. When a creature you control isn't blocked, give it that, and you might actually swing for lethal. Now, super secret tech, uh, it's important for a number of reasons. Firstly, dog, it does... Dog, dog, dog. Who are you calling? Are you calling the president? Are you calling mom and dad? Uh, Gramps and Gramps? Pops and Mama Lynn, or what they want to be called? Are you call calling Grandma and Grandpa? Are you calling Obama? Are you calling Mero? Who are you calling? <laughs> oh my goodness! I love this little one. She's, oh my goodness, she's so precious. 
Uh, super Secret Tech does decrease the cost that you have to pay for all of your spells, Dad, and Dad, importantly, Dad. it may not seem like the tokens would get the plus one plus one from it, but tokens that are made from foils receive the bonus as if they were foils. Uh, you know this if you play on Magic Online. The tokens made by foil cards are treated as being foils, so raise the alarm for instance. There you go. I love you so much. Uh, so that helps as well. If you can, uh, now if your playgroup allows it, or if you just happen to have them, which good on you, you do. Uh, next, in order to decrease the cost as well, we have four bronze calendar. You will have to use another voice uh, in order to do this. Uh, I'm not aware of any playgroup that makes you do more than one voice at a time, so it's not effectively legendary. Uh, but, and I'm a, I used to be a voice actor at WUOG, uh, 90.5 FM in Athens, Georgia, so I can do a number of voices, but, you know, there's always that. That helps, and you've seen me do this on camera before, I, I'm sure I annoyed the crap out of people. Uh, my ex included. Video! There we go. <laughs> Alright, your mom, yeah, she didn't like that. She didn't like that too much. Mm -hmm. Uh... We also have four Jack in the Mocks. It is essentially ramp as well. Um, it's just, it's a Mox that has a 1 in 6 chance of blowing itself up every turn. You have been warned. Um, we have, let's see, four copies of Double Play. It's a very expensive ramp spell. Five mana to get a basic. But, when you start the next game, you get a basic in play. So, it, is, it could be five, it could be zero, it's probably both. <laughs> A zero mana ramp spell. There you go. And if nothing else, I mean, this is a format. Un is a format that's slow enough that you can afford to get away with that, usually. Um, and then lastly, I think, uh, lastly for ramp, we have four Land Aid 04. And that is just another ramp spell. But as far as we're concerned, let me pull it up exactly to see what it says. What does it say? Can you tell me what it says? Do you remember? Do you remember that day, bright sunny day? Alright. Old songs notwithstanding. Uh, land Aid lets you search your library for a basic land card, put that in tapped, then shuffle your library. If you sang a song the whole time you were searching and shuffling, that land becomes untapped. So, you do have to sing a song, but if you can do that, Thinks it's like an ocarina or something. <laughs> She's blowing on it. Yeah, you like that? You like my phone. You don't know quite what it's... You talk into it, you don't blow into it. And then lastly, the one that doesn't really seem to fit the theme uh, otherwise is a card called World Bottling Kit. Uh, this is our Nevenerals disc, I suppose. Sacrifice it, choose a magic set, Remove from the game all permanents with that set's expansion symbol, except for basic lands. So, because we're playing Un, and there are only two Un sets, you get an awful lot. <laughs> it should still work after this. <laughs> Bless your little heart. You get an awful lot taken out of the way. It's, it's Nevenerals disc, except that it might blow up half of their stuff instead of all of it. Um, obviously this is just permanence, but it, it, it does exile too. So I guess that makes it Ugin's Nexus then? Something like Ugin's Nexus? Um, it is five to cast and five to sack, but we're a ramp deck so we can get there. And frankly we need the... we need the time. Alright, alright. And this helps us to get there. So that's it for now. That's it for now. What is that fear? There we go, followed by a smile. I'm not sure that even she knows what that face means. Okay, well. That's our undeck. No sideboard because it's an undeck. I guess, um, Uktabi Ape would go in there. I don't have it in now because there are so many artifacts in there. There are enough. But your mileage may vary. Alright. You ready? Can you say boots? <gasps> Can you say boots? Yeah, big smiles. Let's get the camera for you, shall we? 
Let's go and get the camera. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. All right. We'll see you later, everybody. Can you say, bye-bye? Oops. Can you say, boots, boots? Oh, my goodness. All right. We'll see you later, everyone. Bye-bye.